What's up guys, Tim back with another video. Um, just gonna get right into it. This is probably gonna be a shorter one, um, but it's kind of just straight to the point. And I'm just gonna show you guys how to uh, distinguish the time frames and how to use those to your advantage in Thinkorswim. Um, so this is pretty much a beginner video, but if you already know something about it, maybe it'll be a good refresher or you might learn something you don't know already. So right here, where my mouse is, click on it and these are your time frames um, so you can set your your custom time frames if you want but the ones that are the default settings are usually what I use all the time um, so yeah the biggest time frame is three year weekly for this example we're gonna be using Twitter um, so let me just zoom in a little bit here so now that we're in the three year weekly time frame this is Twitter's stock movement over the last three years and each candlestick is one week. So this candlestick is one week, this is the next week, this is the next week, this is the next week, and so on. So this is kind of good for you know seeing stronger resistance and support levels, which we'll discuss in a different video. Um, but three year, one week time frame is, is pretty good just to see how the stock's doing over the more long term um, situation. So same thing one year daily chart this is Twitter over the last year now since we switched this candlestick is one day the next day the next day the next day the next day um, so you can see also as you're hovering over each stick up here right here it has the date so you can just see it goes day by day in each candlestick um, and then all the way up to today, 7, 8, 20. Um, next again, 180 day. Each candlestick is four hours. Same thing. You go to the 20 day, one hour chart. Each one of these candlesticks is an hour. So now as we get into smaller time frames, the 10 day, 30 minute, these are going to be better for day trading, quick swings, and see how the, the stock's currently doing. Um, and it goes all the way down, you know, the five day, five minute, which is great for making plays, which I usually use, but the daily chart too. So this is literally just today. So each one of these now on the daily chart, or the one day, one minute, sorry, each one of these candlesticks represents a minute. So you can see what the stock's doing by the minute throughout the entire day. So yeah guys, so if I wanted to make a custom time frame, which sometimes I use the three day five minute, which is custom. Um, if you really want to, you could choose the five day and then just zoom over what time frame you want, you know. Um, but if you want to make a custom, whether it's a 10 day, one hour, whatever you want to do, you got a time frame here, click on it, and then pick your day amount. You can zoom in today, one day, two day, three day, one year all the way up, and then you can just do 5, 10, 1, 2, 3 minute intervals, um, which is pretty useful. Each one of these time frames serves a different purpose. Um, and in the next video I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go over how you can use these time frames to your advantage and determine kind of where the stock's going to go next um, and how to make support and resistance levels. So thanks for watching again. Make sure to like the video, comment. Uh, if you have questions, comment. If you want to see something in the future, comment videos, um, go follow our Instagram. You can message us there, at Mac Trading, M-A-C-K Trading. Um, we got a free Discord, too, in our bio there. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned something. I know it was a quick, pretty simple video, but that's kind of what we're doing, just trying to provide as much value as we can. So peace out, guys.